What's going on guys, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna break down for you how to make a book template in Notion where you can have a library, notes, all that sort of fun stuff. But before I get into that, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Without further ado, let's dive in. All right guys, so I'm actually gonna make this uh, straight from scratch for myself. So this is gonna be very interesting. So first and foremost, I'd like to give a big shout out to Jeff Sue. He is a he's a guy who has a template out there that kind of inspired this along with some other content I've consumed. And I, I really just wanna give him the credit for, for getting me to try to get some book notes in Notion because he's just, I don't know. He's, he's done a great job with inspiring my channel overall, but. Um, if we go to where I want to here, he has a book notes template that I think is really awesome. So I'm gonna duplicate this actually and then we're gonna make some edits to it along with some other view stuff. So this guy's right in here. I'm gonna bring it to my workspace. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna show you what's up. So I'm gonna make a page slash page and um, it's gonna be full width. I'm gonna go and call it book library. That icon, I actually like black and white icons, so really nice, real quick, is if you go to, you, know, you just look up Notion icons. I just wanna show you where I find it, but it's notion.vip.com, right? And then I go to dark mode. I'm gonna control F and look for book. Meh. Meh. Bookmark could be good. I think that'd be a good one. Let's do this. Go to link. Paste that in there. Bada boom. Add cover. I am kind of weird. I have the exact same cover for everything, so I'm going to have to go to another Notion tab. And copy image address. Change cover. Link. Paste it in there. Bada boom. So yeah, I'm dumb, I'm weird, it's fine. So then we go to uh, here, and I, I always like to make it an inline. I don't know why, I'm not a huge fan of just having the database be take over everything. So we're gonna do slash gallery, and make sure it's inline. Okay, so I'm gonna type book. Uh, my books. Then let's go back to the main workspace and drag this in here. Now it's simple enough as if we go in here and we control A, control C, right? Then we go to this top right, press templates, add a new template, go book template. And we paste this in here. All right, now I'm gonna make some changes on here. Um, I think I don't have audible. So I don't really need that. So this is basically showing you some different ways that you can do the notes. Uh, I think short form and, or audible is something that I will not be using. The overall book, yeah. I'm usually gonna read or listen to these, but I don't really wanna have the different sections like this. The one pager is interestingly interesting enough to, you know, describe the one pager in one sentence, but I'm just gonna keep it as this one section of just book notes. Right? And I don't really want to have the decision aspect or the one pager. I just want to be able to take the notes. Start here. How did I come across this book? Any value I can share with you? So I think the template was, was okay. And the, there's, there's a room for that to be the, the thing to use. But overall, I think this, this little note section is, is good with me. So I'm actually going to just keep this as is. Go to add icon and do something similar to before. Or I can go in here, pick this book, paste it in there. And then I need to change my properties now. So if we go to properties, this is kind of what I'm working with here. Now quickly figuring out the properties for this, uh, let's, let's get rid of the created ones that are automatically there, tags. Um, let's just, let's just start from scratch. So if we go first here, I do want to put the author name. Then I want to have the genre. Part of these is going to be based off of Jeff Shoes templates. 
partly partially some of my own some of my own ideas as well as just I mean generally that's how it's gonna work. So we can have um, philosophy, finance. self-improvement, productivity. Those are just some ideas off the top of my head. Um, business, actually be pretty good. So if we go here, I wanna make sure this is empty, then we go to the status. And always make, it's always important to make a status one, I believe. So let's do reading, finished, and then to be red. Okay. So I like making the colors usually like gray or something like that or brown for the, or default actually for this. And then reading. And red is finished. Now uh, an important one here I think is to have a cover page uh, actually as an image and that'll be something for later. So date started wouldn't hurt i believe and date finished would also be good so lastly i think it'd be good to have a rating on this but we need to make it a text so that you could do something like this for example eight out of ten but let's clear out all these properties now and then use this template let's clear all these bad boys out I guess it wouldn't hurt to keep this up here for safekeeping just in case you wanted to use it. Or actually what I'm going to do really quick is just make a new template. Let's go Jeff Sue template. Take this control A or control A, control C. And just for safekeeping, put all that in there. I'm going to delete this. And then we can create stuff from new. So I have a few books that I'm going to use as an example really quick. And the important thing before doing this is I need to get all the images for the book covers to make this view look nice. All right, so if I go to a new one and press book template, I'm gonna go with my first book. So the four hour work week, the author was Tim Ferriss. The genre was kind of business kind of self-improvement. Uh, then I already finished it. The cover image, if we go to my downloads folder, do the four hour work week, bada bang. Then I'm gonna ballpark these and say, I started reading it and like, eh, finished it. But April, and I think Chance and I gave it a six and a half out of 10, or seven out of 10. So I could give notes on this as I'm going along or finishing it. And now what I'm going to do is actually show you guys how to make this look nicer. So if we go right here, go to properties, the page content preview is the cover. Boom, then it's a library. Change the card size here, medium, large, whatever you want. But you can choose it to fit image or have it like that. I'm gonna put it like this, I prefer it. It's up to you guys which ones you want to have. But I'm gonna make the examples really quick and fast forward through it for the other few. All right, so we have all the books here. Now what I wanna do actually is to, first and foremost for this view, I wanna actually sort it by a certain way. I think it's, it's nice to always have a sort by status. All right, so we want the stuff that's red to either be at the top or at the bottom. So it's your choice. I think I want to go in the, the order that like the newest thing I need to read is like on the top left. Or we can actually get rid of this view if you want. I think it would, would actually be better. Um, maybe we go by the other way around. So we have it so like this is like a catalog of what I've kind of read in order. And then we change, we make another view, right? Let's make another gallery view, okay? But an issue actually here is I wanted to duplicate the first one. Let's delete this extra gallery view here. So this is all books. And then the copy was the new one. So I just want to make it books I have read books. Okay, so we can go here. We can kind of get rid of this filter. 
We go to filter. Sorry, get rid of the sort familiar and get a, add a filter. Filter status is finish. So we see everything I've read. Now if we duplicate this and change the filter really quick, we have to be read. Change the filter to is not finish. So it's either stuff that we're currently working on or that's not showing up yet. So I wanna actually add this in here really quick just so you, everyone can see it. So if we add a property that has status for the all three views, it will tell us, which will be nice. That'll just give you a little eyeball of, of where we're at with these books. I know it's like a personal thing, so whichever parts of it you want, I think is good. So we can go to status here. You can add the other properties as well, but those are the properties that I think you need. And I personally think that they're pretty solid all across the board. Uh, you can maybe add authors here. I don't think that would be a bad thing to add as well. So I may add that through all of them. So now in this way you can have a, and now in this type of library, I can add any books that I want to read. And I think it's going to be a really great way for me to keep up to date with my reading and keep accountable for the books that I want to read. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>